Hello folks, I'm Tom Shields checking out the Asuyu's Coyotes and the KIJHL on the web and on Cairo Radio and Asuyu's. There are a few more smiles coming out of the coach's room of the Coyotes after a nifty turnaround for the team on home ice. The team is improving on each outing, starting with the Wednesday night 4-1 win over North Okanagan at the Sun Bowl. Then on Friday night, the Coyotes kicked it into overdrive to score two third-period goals to come back and tie Kelowna 3-all up in Rutland. Then Friday night, the Asuyu's fans watched the Coyotes dominate the chase heat to beat them 5-1 to one and it could have been higher. Team speed was there. The offense clicked, the defense did their job and the goaltender nailed second star of the game. Good team effort folks. Here are the highlights. Coyotes have got the big door open here. They're going to be a two-man advantage for 113. That's a long time. Games, we haven't even got the, the ice messed up much yet. Here's the play down the corner. Coyotes, a two-man advantage. Back in, Carter Robinson scores. Top of the slot area. I don't think it was depth. I think he let it go and went right into the top corner. Carter Robinson's getting the hand slapping, so that's the best indication. The Coyotes get a power play goal. And it comes at uh, 117. Wald coming in now for Chase in behind the net. Centered like went by everybody except for Carter Robinson who was trailing. Picked it up and he goes back and cuts in front of his own net. Coyotes are trying to get that. Oh, look at this pass. Right on the stick. A shot. Scores! Brock Marple! Marple going in there and really uh, set that up well. But he took a tremendous pass in there. Carter Robinson, I think, was the one who got it to him. That was a gorgeous pass. Marple went in and made it count. Coyotes go up two to nothing here. And it comes at 5.02. Now the power play underway. Another 55 seconds in here for the Heat. Back to the blue line for Pat Brady. Over the line, dipped in for the corner. Okino putting in the corners right in front of the net. They whack at it, and the Coyotes clear it, but not out. Okino fakes the shot, plays it over to Brady. He's coming in. Now he lets the shot go. It's a blocker save. Bounces high and kept in by Brady at the line. 29 seconds to go. They move it around. There's a shot. Okino right in front. Another shot. They whack at it. Loose puck. Another one. And it goes wide. Action all around. Do you make it? Brady's got it again. Okino plays it in. He'd have got it behind the net. They center it all the way down the ice. Early in the first period. Here's Well. It is a Remax power play. There it is. Shannon scores! Finally, it pays off. Second period. The Coyotes on the power play. It comes at 11.54. Carter Shannon was able to rifle that one in. He was standing just inside the rim of the faceoff circle by it for us. And, it was uh, like tic-tac-toe. Yeah, it was. It was well done, wasn't it? Now moving into latter stages of our second period. Here's the puck coming down over the line. Rapoli coming in. Oh, nice centering pass. Shot scores! Shannon! Goal coming at 14.55. Carter Webb got 97% of the puck. The other 3% trickled over the line behind him. It just, just didn't get all of it. And uh, another goal by Shannon taking that pass in a one-timer. Wow. And Webb got it and didn't get enough of it. That was the only thing. And the Coyotes are now leading four to nothing and starting to take over on the hockey game. 
This looks to, it's going to send another. Another two on. Yeah, another. Going in is Musgrave over there, so the Coyotes are. That's three this game. Yeah, that's going to be another two on uh, two man advantage for a minute, 13 seconds. That other penalty started, uh, only two seconds of it was finished in the second period. So a two man advantage, the Coyotes well in control of this game. And Rapoli going back. He'll start away. Here he comes to center. Puts on the brakes, just going to set it all up. Down in the corner. They center it right through. Welcher had it right there. Comes right again. Rapoli looks. Working down. That's a shot. Goal scores! Rapoli! That one coming with a two-man advantage. And it comes at 120. On the power play in Judd Rapoli. Boy, he's going to have the goal and three assists today. Another shot right out and a save. There was the announcement. Rapoli came into the game uh, leading the Coyotes in scoring, but no goals. I think he had 10 assists. And then he had 11 assists, 12 assists, 13 assists, and finally he whacks at a goal. A goal and uh, 13 assists. Wow. Yeah. Now he's a playmaker type of thing. You can see that. He takes that puck, weaves her all around, then passes it. Yep. Over the line, couple of moves, works into the corner. Throws the puck over the far side to Black. He fakes the pass to Brady, plays it back down in. Black's got it again. Now Brady straight out. His shot hits a leg. And it comes over to this side. There's a shot. Bounces. And they score. Hey, Liam Aiken made the save. Saw it going up high. Tried to reach in behind him. It just came down behind his shoulder and into the net. And the Coyotes lose their shutout bid and uh, get on the scoreboard. Chase does. Back to the line. There's a shot. The buzzer goes. And the hockey game is over. Little pushing at the end, but no one wants to get into anything serious now. It's, it's a suspension, so everyone will break it up. And the Coyotes are going to win it 5-1. to one. Well, after this weekend's action, Summerland leads the Okanagan Division with 16 points. Princeton has 14 points. Both have played 10 games. Coyotes have played one less. They're third at 11 points. Kelowna with nine and a game in hand. North Okanagan has six points, also with a game in hand. Coyotes make the long trip to 100 Mile House for a Friday night encounter. Should be an interesting one. 100 Mile House is three wins and a loss at home, while the Coyotes are three wins, a loss, and a tie on the road. Now, Saturday night, the Coyotes will be involved in what we call a four-pointer. They host the Summerland Steam, who are currently five points up in the Suyus. So a win means the Oats are three points behind. But a loss puts them seven points back, hence the four-pointer. Good night for fans, too. The game sponsor is Home Hardware, and Francis has made arrangements for the first 200 fans to receive a free Vancouver Canuck beer stein. Then the Craig and Janice Tucker of OR Realty's chuck duck jackpot has now swelled to $500. So can the Coyotes find the strength to hold off the steam like they did in the game against Visiting Chase following a long trip of Friday night? I'm Tom Shields on the web and Cairo Radio 106.5 in the Soyuz looking at the Coyotes. Carter Robinson. Second star of tonight's game again from your Soyuz Coyotes, number one, Liam Aiken. Liam Aiken, second star. 
Carter Shannon. Has. And the first star from the game from the Coyotes, number 18, John Rapoli. John Rapoli.